What's up YouTube? It's Zado, it's TCG here and thanks again for watching another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're gonna play with Tord Ratcliffe's deck that he piloted at the North American Internationals. He got second place and Tord Ratcliffe is an amazing Norwegian player that actually already won three internationals. He was about to win his uh, fourth internationals but uh, got stopped in his tracks by a uh, Frenchman in the uh, yeah, finals at the, in the Master Division so that was kind of neat to see. And this is a Zoro Ratcliffe but not like any other you've ever seen. It's going to rely yeah, on Origuru. With the resource management, you can get back three cards from the discard, put it on the bottom of your deck, and with that, you can just, uh, yeah, the thing he did is put a bunch of puzzles of time on the bottom of the deck and uh, reused everything from his discard, and he uh, repeated the process turn after turn after turn, and he's uh, he was able to do mill stuff like Sylveon, which is kind of crazy to think about. So, uh, Oranguru, kind of an MVP card here. Also, you might wonder, with so many puzzles in the format, how does this lone Zoroark GX deck face? Because it not, doesn't rely on Golisopod, doesn't rely on Lycanroc or anything, only on Zoroark, and the only tech card it has is Mew. With Mew, of, of course, you can destroy Boswell GXs, of course, with if they rely too much on B-String, boom, Mew EX comes in and you get the KO. But how about Baby Boswell? Well, glad you asked. There is weakness policy in the deck. With weakness policy, you make sure that Zoroark does not have any weakness. And how good is that? Well, Zoroark with any weakness, 210 HP Pokemon, Baby Boss won't be one-shotting that very easily. Because Boswell lists usually do not run Field Blower at all. So that's what this list uh, makes pretty good use of. Uh, and also, uh, with the Hand Hammer, you can get rid of the strong energies. And uh, in Zoroark, Mirror Matches get rid of DCEs. You also have Molomar uh, variants, where uh, you can just get that Parallel City up. And boom, Molomar variants are uh, crying in a corner. <laughs> And the thing about the weakness policy here is you have no weakness at all, but you can just rely on Max Potion to heal off all the damage, or maybe Acer Roll. So this is the exact 60 cards that Thor Dracula used, and that's what we're gonna play with today. Another interesting thing is it's 3 Avery Soda. He definitely wants those Zoroarks out as soon as possible. For uh, Tapu Lele, definitely consistency getting out that uh, first turn uh, Bridget here. And uh, I do enjoy the list uh, very much. It's also uh, having the Team Flare Gun in here. With that, you can get rid of energies on the opponent's active. Together with Enhanced Hammer, might be very crucial in certain situations of the game. The Liquid, a very disruptive card. If the opponent only has three cards in their hand, you can just discard all of them if there's a Stadium in, uh, in play because it just discards the Stadium in play and then you can discard three cards of the opponent's hand and that's amazing. So that is the list that we're gonna work with today. I do love Contra Catcher, two copies of it, uh, I, uh, strangely enough, because Little Zoroas will see the discard very early game. Okay, let's see if the list works out. Tort became second at the most, actually the biggest tournament in the history of the Pokemon trading card game. So let's see how it works in this video. That's what you want to see, right? We're going to play a couple of matches with this list. I cannot promise you guys that we will win, but I'm definitely going to try and show you how the deck functions. The thing you want to do is get out a bunch of Zoroarks and then go from there. Use a couple of trades here and there to get yourself to victory. We have a bunch of supporters to work with and looks like we're facing... Psychic and Water. It could be Greninja or it could be Lapras. Uh, we want the coin flip, which is awesome because uh, yeah, the little Zoroas do need a turn to evolve. And looks like we're facing. Oh, well, we do. Are you serious? We start with a lone Mew. Well, I cannot say that that is a good thing because Mew is kind of the target, but if we're facing Lapras, I think we can get away with it because. Uh, Although, he will one-shot us, and that is Lapras indeed, so, well, well, well. I'm not gonna rely on Sycamore, although... We're gonna use Ultra Ball here. I'm gonna get rid of M, late game is cool though. Let's get rid of M, let's get rid of Sycamore, we're gonna Cynthia afterwards, so let's use Tapu Lele. Oh, no Zorowa. All the Zoroaks in the deck, Oranguru in the deck. Let's get that Rainbow Lily, which I recently pulled from a random pack of the Versus Ladder, which is awesome. So it looks like the Enhanced Hammers won't be doing much in this situation. We do have Max Potion that could work to our advantage if he does not rely on the Volcanium Prison Star too much. So it looks like there's one DCE price as well. Could live with that, there's an end price. Come on, let's see how it goes. Uh, starting with this Mew is just so bad. Come on, Bridget is a... Uh... Our first card of the deck that we're gonna play with, our first supporter, and that is going to get out all the Zoroas that we need for the match. I don't like this Mew at all. Come on, Oranguru is for later, so three Zoroas, so we can get the full line Zoro GX into play as early as turn two. We have three Evo Sodas, we can trade, 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 and hopefully get the Flowstone and get the first damage onto that Lapras. 
so we can at least do that. Lapras do, does run a couple of uh, Guzmas, so our Mew EX will get targeted regardless, although uh, Tapu Lila is also a target that uh, they always want to target if they can get a whole of their choice bands. Okay, looks like there's a full art Cynthia coming our way, there's an energy coming choice band, that's cool, we can get rid of that choice band really soon. I want to draw some more resources, we do see a little Remorate, little Remorate, which you can hopefully KO here. Come on, let's draw that DCE. Would have been, would be amazing. Come on, let's see what we can do. We have the weakness policy, which kind of sucks to be honest. How many Guzmas? We're definitely gonna fall behind in prize cards, anyhow. So let's get rid of these cards. Let's get that Zora GX up and rolling, and uh, see if we can uh, manage to get the first attack here. What? Here comes Cynthia. Oof. We got this EF Flutestone, that is amazing. Come on, more Zoroarks. What do we want to see here? Boom. And let's see here. We are gonna equip that Floatstone. We are gonna retreat to our uh, obvious Zoroark GX. We still have access to trade. We have Rescue Striker in the deck, so I don't think Oranguru will help to mill the opponent in this situation. So let's get rid of it for now. Boom. What do we get? Parallel City. Parallel City is, an, is a unique card here. We can uh, take that to our advantage and swap it around, but for now, let's use the Field Blower. Oh. Can always rely on Parallel City here. Parallel City. Dope Parallel City. I don't know, I don't know. Lapras or Vulcanian Prism Star. I don't know if he has a Field Blower in his discard. Not yet. Definitely want to get another trade off. But we have an Ultra Ball in the hand, so. We're gonna get rid of a Lele, might seem weird to do that, but let's get uh, rolling with it, okay. The Parallel, do I get it down right now or do I get it down later? I wanna just get it down later so we can still have access to a lot of stuff and we're gonna discard a bunch of Pokemon with it, I think. Let's get it on, Righteous Beating. So the Zorak list, very consistent already, two Zorak Jaxes on the field, could have gotten out another one which is Ultra Ball, we're gonna wait for next turn to get that one out. We have Acerola as well. So if he smacks a bunch of damage, we can use Acerola. Unless he will, okay, there's a Lele being prepped here. There's a Guzma play. And Zoroark will, will be smacked around with damage. I can dig that. Choice Band as well. That is a bunch of damage. In this situation, I'm comfortable. I want to get my Guzma here. So let's straight away, we don't need a Lele at this point, we have Rescue Stretcher, so we don't need to fill our bench with a bunch of Leles. There's Max Potion, that is something cool. Let's straight away, I don't think the Parallel City will matter at all in the, in the end. Come on, Guzma. Two puzzles. And that is our uh, ticket to Guzma here. So with the two puzzles, let's use them at the same time, we are gonna grab What do we grab? Our Guzma, definitely. And... Draw support is something we don't need. Field Blow might be not nice to just get rid of those choice bands. Oranguru is also nice to get back the puzzles though. So let's get back... Yeah, let's get back the Oranguru. I like Oranguru. So, now that we got our play here, let's dispose of the Lapras or the Remorade. Let's get two, two prize attackers KOs here. Boom! And Max Potion could be used here. Or do we use it later? So many questions. We can use another DCE. Max Potion now or Max Potion later? Still have more Zoroark that we can get out. I don't think he's able to get. How much damage does he need? Maybe with Max Elixir and Aqua Patches, he might get there. So let's use the Aqua Patch. Actually, the Max Potion right now. And the DCE comes obviously over here. And let's get rolling. Righteous beating. Let's get rid of the Lapras. Boom. Okay, Lapras is down. And uh, what do we get? Enhanced Hammer and and the Enhanced Hammers are so not good for this matchup. And I'm definitely gonna see an Octillery here. 
how many Guzmas? Only one in the discard, so an N coming down. We have two Zoroarks we can trade. Still not uh, draw. We did not draw into that uh, Zoroark GX from the prize cards. We have Weakness Policy. All those dead cards in this matchup. Come on, two Lapras. Are we gonna see? Okay, Aqua Patch. If he gets out Manaphy, it would be awesome. Okay. Err, Energy Drive once again. Not gonna do much in this situation. 110 though, that is two shotting us. Two shotting us, indeed. Trade away the Witness Policy. Let's see what we get. We get Ultra Ball. That is our ticket, so let's get rid of this dead card. And the Lele. And Zora Jack shows its face right now. Come on. And do we end here? Or do we do something else? Let's use that Oraguru, let's put him away. Back at the discard with you. Pure Zora work it is. Acerolo, that is a cool card. I like it. So, I'm gonna use Acerola. Here comes Zoroark, once again, benching this one, evolving the other one, and he concedes! So, yeah, that's how we go, Acer Wola, Max Potions, and they cannot keep up, it's crazy, the, the pure Zoroark power here. Okay, that's one down. You guys, a lot of subscribers want to see multiple um, uh, matches here, so that I'm going to deliver for you guys, so more matches with Thor Rackliff's decklist, and we're facing Boswell. This is a great example of how... Oh, a pure Zoroark list. How does it face the, uh, against Boswell uh, matches? Well, that's what you're gonna hopefully see here. Weakness policy. Hopefully it'll work out. Hopefully the opponent does not run field door. Otherwise, I don't think we'll uh, make it on top. So we're gonna win the coin flip. That's cool. We can go first. We can all already rely on counter catcher because one of our Zoroarks will see the discard. And that's going to be this one in the active. This one will see the discard soon enough. So let's put it in the active position. We have our Rainbow Lele, which is awesome. And let's leave it at this. We have a bunch of great stuff, a lot of great stuff to work with here. So, Lele, supporter, let's see what is prized. That is always something I want to see here. Bridget, what seems to be prized? There seems to be a Sycamore prized. Oof. Sycamore is prized, not that it matters too much. We have Cynthia, all the Zoro GXs are in there. All the Zoro Wals are in there. It looks like there is one Tapu Lele prize. can live with that. How many Enhanced Hammers? All of them in the deck. All the Evo Sodas in the deck, all the Field Lords, all the Max Potions, and uh, looks like... Yeah, all the DCEs as well, so... Very good prize card indeed, so let's get it rolling. Bridget! I will be so sad when Bridget rotates. We'll have to rely on uh, Nas Balls and uh, Pokemon Fan Club, so... Uh, Oren Guru is also in here, resourcing the management and stuff. Could work out, but uh, in this situation, weak to fighting, but weakness policy could be kind of fun, but for now... Zoroas! I think Mew EX. What's Mew EX in the deck? Definitely should have checked that. Never gonna, not gonna use that Parallel City for now. I'm gonna use Evo Soda later to see if Mew is in the deck. Because if Mew is not in the deck, we're gonna have a, a rough time. Although Reverse Valley is in there, and our weakness policies as well. So hopefully it'll work out. He starts with a Lele, so the thing he has to do here is get out of Boswell and uh, a Flowstone and an Energy. Oof, Boswell GX. I do enjoy seeing GXs more than the Baby Boswells, because Baby Boswells do only give up one prize card. And there goes a strong energy and a choice band. Hopefully he will draw into the Flowstone, otherwise it will be one of those matches that he did not get anything out. And there comes the Brooklyn Hill. Probably gonna get out a little Ruck Ruff. Hello Ruck Ruff, say hello to the camera. Come on, man. Or maybe he's prized, he's playing a one, one line of Black and Rock. And there, oh, Dianti Prison Star, gonna smack up the damage here. Hey, he doesn't seem to have the flowstone, but he does have a lot of resources here. Okay, what do we do now? What do we do now? First things first, Evo Soda and see, yeah, Mew, e Mew EX is prime, so we are gonna have a terrible time. We're gonna have to rely on drawing into our. Yeah, you guessed it. What do we need? It is weakness policy. So in that regard, he's not gonna bench anything anymore. It is locked for him. So only three bench Pokemon for him. He does not seem to have the Floatstone either, so N would not be the great option here. So let's use Cynthia. And with the Cynthia, hopefully we draw into the weakness policy that we desperately need. Okay, and has hammer, dig that. Let's get rid of it. Next, moving forward, we have Max Potion, that's always cool. We have the Acerola. Do we get rid of the end? How many ends in the discard? 
zero. We can get that, get it, get it back with puzzle of time, regardless, and we do run multiple copies of Ansel. So here it comes, put them. No DCEs in sight. No DCEs in sight indeed. Let's get rid of the Bloodstone. Eh, definitely gonna have one shot us regardless. Here we go. Another Zoroark. So this list does run on a bunch of Zoroarks. We have the Guzma in hand, which is nice. We have the Max Potion. I'm gonna get rid of the Max Potion for now. I definitely want to draw into my DCE here. Well, two puzzles. Two puzzles is not a DCE. Well, we don't get an attack here. Don't get an attack off at all. And that is bollocks. Well, the Boswell player needs his beast energy to get that uh, first one hit KO here. If he doesn't draw into his beast or, or a bunch of Max Elixirs, that could also do the trick. He needs Floatstone, two Max Elixirs to hit, and an attachment. A Baizo hand, one card. Come on. What is he gonna do? Enos? There's a Sycamore in hand. Is he gonna Sycamore away a bunch of stuff? He could be having beast energies in his hand. Okay. Fine, retreat and a bunch of damage, cool. Jet Punch, we can dig that, we're gonna evolve later. Come on, we have an Ultra Ball. We have a Guzma. We don't have anything to work with. We can delinquent him. Let's see first what we are able to pull here. Let's get rid of the Ultra Ball. We're not gonna discard more stuff from our discard. Wow, three puzzles. How crazy is that? Evo Soda. Here we go. Another Zoroark and play. It's gonna be hard without our Mew here. And uh, this situation, we don't we don't even have a DCE, so that is very very hard. We're gonna trade away and, and we do have a bunch of puzzles. I want to use the right. Don't want to get rid of all my enhanced hammers here. Okay, weakness policy. Here you go. The only thing we need now. We're gonna trade away. Pop, 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 pop. Enhanced hammer. Let's see what we draw. We have the witness policy. And it looks like we don't draw the DCE. That is crazy. I want to rely on uh, the uh, delinquent in this situation, but for now, I think the obvious plan here is using two cards from the discard back. That is going to be max potion and maybe an N. And is great. Or an enhanced hammer. Could be very disruptive. How many cards in his hand? Four. Maybe Cynthia is better in that regard. Okay. We have the weakness bump. First things first, max potion away does damage. Moving forward, there is a weakness policy. We are also gonna thin out the deck a little bit, so let's get rid of this. And, and Delinquent, I want to use it so badly, but it's not gonna end well. We still have Rescue Stretcher, don't we? Still have Rescue Stretcher, so let's get rid of these Lele's. <laughs> it's crazy. We have the Oranguru, which also couldn't work to fill up our bench. And uh, hopefully with the Cynthia we draw into a DCE, otherwise it would be crazy. Crazy indeed. Come on, Cynthia, let's rock! DCE, I need it! We get the DCE jackpot, here we go. DCE equipped it, and we have Reverse Valley as well, but we're gonna keep him with three bench Pokemon, no Lele shenanigans. We still have another trade left. Need the Reverse Valley for other matchups, so I'm gonna trade away the Ultra Ball. We don't need it anymore. Oof. Hopefully we're drawn to our Mew. Okay, two puzzles. We can repeat the process later. So, let's go with Righteous Beating. We, we draw into a lot of cards here. Okay, he cannot bench anything. He doesn't rely on Field Blower. He needs his Brooklyn Hill, benching another Pokemon. We did not activate his Beast Rings whatsoever, so he has no way of escaping unless he relies on... Hey, he uh, uses nothing. So, if he draws into a Guzma and a Strong Energy, he might get the KO here. He's now doing 60, 80, that's 160. He still needs a strong energy to get the KO. Strong energy and the Guzma is his... Uh, it has to be in his hand for now. Is this going to be the case? I wonder. Our uh, list looks very solid at this point. Or actually, our bench looks very solid. We have our Oranguru getting back any puzzles that we possibly want. If we use Counter Catcher, if we're falling behind. So at least we can do that. 
And there is a Guzma coming, unfortunately. And is it gonna have the strong energy, beast energy, or is it just gonna smack a bunch of damage? Okay, there's gonna be a jet punch that we can definitely take care. Okay. Well, well, well. What do we see here? In this situation, I am comfortable to just use puzzles. Putting two cards from the discard back in the hand <laughs> once again. And I want... what does he have? I don't know. We need max potion. If this one attacks, we need something to work with. Well, we can give up our, our, at least one of the prize cards, that is cool. We can end the opponent as well if he gets prizes. Or do we put an Enhanced Hammer or a Lele so we can Guzma later? Is there a Guzma in here? Nope. Yeah, I'm comfortable taking those. Don't even know if, it, if they are the correct place. Could have also gotten a Flow Stone to retreat, but I'm comfortable just to heal all the damage off for now. I love doing that so much, so we have this DCE here. And now we can trade a bunch of times. Let's get rid of the Evo Soda. We have another Max Potion. Maybe we should have traded first. Well, to make it a little bit awkward for him, let's get rid of the Flowstone. And he doesn't even need the Choice Band anymore, but we're gonna get rid of it regardless. That's how we are. And we have a bunch of Enhanced Hammers in the hand. Enhanced Hammers in the hand. How cool is that? Do we trade some more? How many Enhanced Hammers in this card? I think one. Don't think we want to trade some more, otherwise we will see a uh, decrease of our deck, so... All the cards we need are, are all the cards that we have in the hand we definitely need so but maybe we can draw into another weakness policy Ooh, so let's get trade away and then hand hammer you never know weakness policy where are you at where are you at Oof, we don't see it we don't see it at all let's get rid of the bridget as well now that we're trading we're gonna trade good mellow acer roller how cool is that we still have a trade left so why not rely on mellow what do we need? Delinquent and weakness policy it's, looks pretty tight. And now we just trade away the rescue stretcher. Now we have to be careful with trading because we only have 9 cards left in the deck but at least we have the weakness policy here. And now we can use righteous beating once again so get out of here Boswell. <laughs> How cool is that? Now we need our Mew. Where is the Mew? Where should the Mew be? Here and here. Come on Mew, show your face! Mythical creature! Oh, Lele? Are you freaking Lele me? That news is Baby Boss shows its face. We have Reverse Valley. We are prepared. Okay, Baby Boss, come show your face. One, two, and he's going to smack with Baby Boss. He's going to retreat. He needs Field Blower, without Field Blower he's screwed, otherwise he's only dealing 120 damage, Cynthia as well. Looks like Boswell is having the the nightmare of his life, I bet he wish he ran uh, Field Blowers right now. Okay, he's back, he's back. We can delinquent him later, so it's cool if he does uh, empty his hand, things will work out fine. And we don't even need to rely on Ace Roll, although that could be the trick here. Come on, bench something else. Although, he has Octillery, so Delinquent is not even the best choice in this situation. Hmm, interesting indeed. Here comes Baby Buzz, sledgehammering away for not a lot of damage. Not a lot of damage, <laughs> a, lot of the, a lot of damage indeed. Okay, uh, you wanna play it like that, huh? Well, we are gonna rely on... Acer Rolla, we don't want your damage, man. Don't need it. Here comes ba Zoroark once again, benching this one down. He maybe can target the little Zoroark. He can do that if he wants to, if he's feeling satisfied with it. With his policy coming again. Maybe we save this one. How many Guzmas in his discard? One. But he only gets one prize card for that. Huh, he can target that, I don't even mind that also. Let's use this. Uh, choose, yeah, yeah, I think it's good like this. Mm. Mm. We still have max potions and stuff, so. 
this E coming. I don't even need to attach my DCE at this point, but we still have a lot of DCEs left in the deck, so we might as well do it. Here it comes, the DCE. And we don't even need anything, but I don't want to draw into that Bridget. I don't want to deck out either, so... Two, that is six turns. I think I can live with six turns. Let's get rid of the Bridget. Don't like those Bridget in the late game. Oof, we get parallel once again. Hmm, that looks cool. But we need a reverse value. <laughs> Definitely not gonna get rid of that. So here comes Righteous Beating once again. The KO. Check, another prize card. Mew, hello Mew. We missed you. And now Baby Boss is limited at uh, 30 damage. Actually 50 damage. Oh, baby, oh, there comes uh, Buzzwell GX. That's gonna be our victory ticket in this, vi uh, in this video. Sycamoring away everything. There's no Lycan Rock in sight. That's cool. Wow, seven energies in this discard. We might rely on Team Flare Grant now. Super. Okay, I didn't say anything. Super Rod is here to save his day. And yeah, I do love the Max Potion combo and stuff. We can retreat, Max Potion away. Still have a weakness pulse in the hand. This one evolves once again. Joyce Ban. I don't know what he's doing at this point. What is going on here? Only 14 cards left in the deck. Maybe he's going to rely on his... Oh, no beast energies. Well, if that is the case. If that is the case. We are going to target... Uh, what do we target? An artillery? Or do we target a Boswell? I want to target the Boswell with my Mew later. So I'm going to do some little trickery here. We are going to target... He can destroy our... Boswell right here, or actually our um, Zoroark, so we are gonna do something crazy, okay. We are gonna target this Octillery with our Zoroark, without weakness policy. We are gonna evolve this Zoroark because we can. We are gonna destroy a bunch of our cards, so don't even care about the Link win, don't even care about Enhanced Hammer. Our Mew will be our victory ticket together with, okay, DCE's Counter Catcher Escape. We need the Mew, we need the Guzma, we need the Energy, so we need it fast. So uh, this will not matter at all. So Weakness Policy coming here. Parallel coming there. <laughs> Is he gonna discard his Boswell now? Okay, Lele goes away. What is else? Is he gonna get rid of an artillery? Is he gonna get rid of an artillery or a baby boss? Okay, artillery. No more artillery for him. And looks like we can trade our way to victory here. So let's trade away the N, which we're not gonna use anymore. Boom. And let's trade away a counter catcher. How cool is that? And next turn we hopefully are gonna be able to close this game off or maybe he's going to deck us out maybe those trades were not the best idea oh man we need to rely on Oranguru Orang now ah, how crazy what is he gonna do there comes beast energy should we be afraid okay beast energy he will get the KO here what is that is exactly what we wanted and he fell right into our trap so we can now rely safely on our Mew so here goes the Zorora GX slapping the Mew around and that is going to be GG so we fell in the trap which is awesome so well played and we retreat to the Mew and we even heal up on the <laughs> Zoroark because we can we're even gonna fill blow everything away Ah oh, man, <laughs> okay. Anyhow, we won with Zoroark, Tord Reckless deck list. Definitely check it out for yourself. Train a little bit with it. It's definitely an awesome list. And uh, we're also gonna visit the champions uh, list. That is going to be Zoroark Garboder. Definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. If you enjoyed the video and like what you saw, be sure to demolish the like button. As always, it helps out the channel a lot. And I will see you guys soon enough with more Pokemon TCG content. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Tord Reckless uh, way of uh, playing Zoroark with weakness policies. I enjoyed it a lot. And it, as you saw, it wins against Boswell as well. So that is awesome. Anyhow, see you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.